Hey what's up guys, Kartik TV here. Today we're gonna learn reversing an array using C program. So basically what is an array? Array is a collection of similar data types, whether it's a character or an integer. Today we're gonna learn reversing an array as I said. So the basic thing is what is reversing an array? Think that there is an array of five elements. 86, 78, 89, 82. So, this is the input which we are giving in our program. The output will look like 82, 89, 78, 56, 23. So, we can see that the output or the reverse array look like this so it's basically the array which we entered as the input got reversed in such a fashion that the last element we acquire the position of the first element so let's start coding to reverse an array so I use Visual Studio here so we start coding file go new dot h for get ch int main the program starts with here integer I am declaring an integer array of size 10 variable i j n and one temporary variable so for swapping now enter the number of array elements here we are entering the number of array elements in a program percentage d and percent of y print f enter the array elements we are entering our array elements we use for loop for that i less than n i plus plus scanner percentage b and percent of a of i so here we have entered the number of array elements and we have entered the array elements so now we have to initialize i to the first element of an array and j to the last element of an array. I am repeating once again. Here i points to the first element of an array and j points to the last element of an array. Then we will enter the while loop. While the condition is i less than j. This while loop works until i is less than j in the sense index of i is less than index of j. If that's the case then we will put a of i in temporary variable and we will put a of i a of sorry a of j into a of i and finally a of j will acquire the value of temp so it's looking pretty confusing uh, you, you will understand once we trace the program after this one iteration we have to increment the i value by 1 and decrement the i value by 1 so our main logic is over now we have to print an array in the sense print and reverse array for that we we'll use printf the reverse array is for i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus 
printer percentage d new line a of i let's see so here we are done with the coding stuff so this is how the code looks like so we now trace the following code so that we can understand better so here let's trace from the top to bottom enter the number of array elements here we will take array elements n is equal to 5 after that enter the array elements we will enter the 5 elements let it be 34 67 23 89 and 72 once the array elements are entered we are going to initialize i to the first value and j to the last value so this will become i so let's write the index also 0 1 2 3 4 this will be the i and j minus 1 pi minus 1 4 this will be the last value now after initializing i and j we will hit to the while loop what's the while loop here it says that whenever i is less than j repeat or do execute the following code whenever i is not less than j you skip this entire stuff and print an array so this is what we mentioned here so let's trace this while i is less than j i is 0 and j is 4 there are so many people will get confused that i is less than j is not that 34 is less than 72 we are not at all looking at the array elements here we are looking at the array index so 0 is less than 4 yeah so what we have written for if it is i is less than j put a of i in the temp okay a of i in the temp, a of i in the sense a of 0 is 34 and next put a of j in a of i what is a of j? a of j is 72 so we are putting 72 in a of i a of i in the sense a of 0 is equal to 72 now the next step put temp in a of j so a of j is a of 4 what is the temp is 34 so basically we are swapping the first and the last element after swapping these two what we are doing is we are incrementing i by 1 and decrementing j by 1 ok after this iteration our, our array looks like 72, 67, 23, 89 and 34 so 72 which was in the last position has acquired the first position and 34 which was in the first position went to the last position so now we have to increment the i to 1 so i acquire a of 1 and decrement the j by 1 so let's write the index so uh, it will be not confusing 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 so here A is sorry I is less than J in the sense 1 is less than 3 so again the same step of set of steps we are going to repeat let's do that what was our first thing put a of i in temp in the sense a of i in the sense 67 will go into temp and put a of j in a of i a of i now is a of 1 
put e of j in a of i in the sense a of 1 will acquire 89 and finally put temp in a of j a of j is a of 3 and temp will be 67 so after the second equation our array will look like this 72 89 23 67 and 34 so basically we have reverse them array so now still couple of steps are there increment i and decrement j so i was in a of 1 now it will get incremented by 1 so i will acquire a of 2 and j was at a of 3 we will decrement j by 1 so we will acquire a of 2 so basically here i and j are pointing to the same index value so this while loop doesn't work now because i is no longer less than j i and j are pointing to the same element or in the sense it is overlapping so we are come out of the while loop and we will print them array in the sense reversed array so our reversed array will look like this 72, 89, 23, 67, 34 our input was 34, 67, 23, 89, 72 and it got reversed 72, 89, 23, 67 and 34 so we have traced the code for this output is correct anyhow we will run this code so here enter the number of elements array elements we will take it 5 enter the array elements 45 7, 89, 4, 12. So we have entered the 5 arrays. Let's see the reverse of an array. The reverse array is 12, 34, 89, 67, and 45. This is the reverse of our array. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you have any doubts, do comment it. Thank you.